Hi everyone, I'm Donna from the Land Rover Guidebook channel. Today we are going to learn about the interactive driver display. Depending on the material used, the interactive driver display is not called an LCD instrument panel. It is also called a TFT instrument panel. On vehicles without an interactive driver display, there are two analog dials on each side. This is also possible in the interactive driver display. There is an information panel between the two dials. You can set various instrument panel menus in the information panel. The instrument panel menu includes trip display, heads up display, vehicle setting, vehicle information, driver assistance, and more. Depending on the vehicle class and options, the heads-up display and driver assistance may not be visible. Also, if you turn on the media in the infotainment panel in the center fascia and connect your smartphone via Bluetooth, you will see additional phone and media menus in the instrument panel menu. Please refer to the information related to the instrument panel menu, as we previously introduced it in our Land Rover Guidebook channel. Let's take a look at the instrument panel display of the 2020 Range Rover Autobiography model. First of all, it is the information panel. When you turn off the information panel, the side view of the vehicle is shown graphically. The following is off-road information. You can still view off-road information regardless of the terrain response driving program. Next is the media. It can be viewed even when the media is off and various media information can be viewed. Next is the trip summary. You can view trip information for trip A, trip E, and trip auto. Next is the map. Navigation here map can also be viewed in the instrument panel. Next is driver assistance. You'll find lane keeping assist, blind spot assist, adaptive cruise control distance interval, and the new cruise steering assist. Then I'll actually try driving. The information panel currently shown is off-road information. The lock icons shown above and below are the center differential lock and the rear differential lock. The orange circle around the lock represents the wheel's drive distribution. Depending on the vehicle and class, you may only see the center differential lock shown above. When you turn the steering wheel, the front wheel of the instrument panel moves according to the direction you turn. So, by looking at the off-road information in the information panel, you can visually see the direction and drive distribution of your vehicle's wheels. This time, I'll select another information panel in addition to the off-road information. If you continue to see off-road information despite choosing other information such as media, trip summary, maps, and driver assistance, it is because the off-road driving program is currently selected. Therefore, if you select one of the general programs, you can view information other than off-road information. Alternatively, you can also disable the checkbox for off-load information at the bottom of the display setting. Off-road driving programs include grass, gravel, snow programs and mud, sand and rock programs. General driving programs include auto, comfort, echo, and dynamic programs. From media, you can view information from various media sources such as radio, CD, DVD, and USB. You can see trip distance, average speed, range, and average economy at the trip summary. You can see the route guide bar on the map and turn by turn is also displayed. You can see a variety of steering assists and driver assistance. Then, let's take a look at the layout. The layout with two dials, left and right, which we've seen so far, is two dial. Next up is the one dial. One dial has only one dial in the middle. When you return to the previous setting from the one dial setting, the left information panel and right information panel are newly displayed. The information panel on the right is the panel to the right of the center dial. You can choose map, trip summary, media, or off. The album information is also displayed in the media source, and it is the same in the information panel in the middle you saw earlier. Let's look at the information panel on the left. 
you can choose off-road info, media, trip summary, and driver assistance. The right information panel I saw a while ago adds off-road information and driver assistance that wasn't there, and the map is missing. However, one of the features of the one dial is that it can be divided into the right and left panels. Here is the full map. In the instrument panel, you can view it in full screen just as you would navigate a navigation on the infotainment screen. When you set the route, along with the route guideline, a route guide pop-up window appears at the bottom right. When you reach the turn-by-turn -turn point, a lane is displayed along with detailed information on the split screen on the right. Traffic information is displayed in real time when you connect to an internet connection such as a SIM card or Wi-Fi. Red is congestion, yellow is delay, and green is seamless traffic information. When the height of the air suspension is adjusted in the full map, the split screen on the left side of the instrument panel informs you. Even if you change the terrain response driving program, the split screen on the left will notify you. In addition, the adaptive speed limiter and adaptive cruise control are displayed on the full map and various information is displayed together with the map. Next is the media. You can view various information related to the media source on the entire screen of the instrument panel. Important information needed to drive the vehicle is usually shown on the left. The album information of the media source will be displayed behind the background. Various media information such as song title, singer, album title, etc. are largely displayed on the instrument panel, but it is also in the small screen of the information panel. Next is driver assistance. Driver assistance is no different from the media we just looked at. Important information related to vehicle operation is shown on the left side of the instrument panel. Most of the features found in driver assistance must be activated by pressing the Lane Departure Warning System button on the right side of the steering wheel. The icon holding the steering wheel in the middle of the instrument panel with both hands is a new cruise steering assist function for 2020 vehicles. We'll learn more in the next video. The adaptive speed limiter and adaptive cruise controller displayed at the bottom left of the instrument panel. When looking at the information panel, unlike the general driving program, when I chose the off-road driving program, I could only see off-road information by selecting media, trip summary, map, and driver assistance. Same in layout. If you want to see other information while using the off-road driving program, you must change it in the instrument panel menu settings. Just disable the off-load information checkbox under display settings. In driver assistance, you can see various driver assistance functions such as steering assist. So far, you've learned how to view various instrument panels with information panels and layouts on the interactive driver display. In the next video, as I said earlier, let's take a look at one of the new features added in 2028 Cruise Steering Assist. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.